Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a 613 transformation um, with a little pink and black bob. So let's just hop right into it um, and go ahead and get started. So I made a mistake and deleted some of the content. Well, most of the content, I deleted it like out of my phone completely, but you really didn't miss much. Um, I did the watercolor method. I parted the wig like three or four tracks. Um, and separate it and dip it in the pink. Um, so now I'm about to switch the water out and do the other half, which is the top part of the wig, and dip that in black. Um, I kind of wanted like the black to cover the pink and only the pink to show like when you combed it. So if I were you, um, I wouldn't like, don't part as much pink, basically. So when I dipped it in the black, um, you really want to make sure that you are dipping your 613 because you, the color has to stain the hair. Um, so like dip it in there and like, let it sit in there for a few like seconds and minutes and like just swirl it around, but be careful and like ease it in there. Like you see me doing, because I didn't want any black dye to get on the pink hair. Um, after I had already separated that hair and dyed it pink. So definitely take your time. You don't want to have to like do any backtracking, but just make sure that you're actually soaking that wig and the color is getting on every strand. Um, also, I had to like open up the wig like in the inside, like the crown area, just so the wig could color like in the middle part as well, because although I was dipping it, it was missing it some spots. So when I opened up the wig from the inside, like I was just poking it just to like get it dipped in the water, um, I end up dying in like the crown of the hair, which is what I did. Um, after that, I went ahead and washed it out. Um, and don't worry about staining your lace. Like you're not going to stain the lace. Feel free to just go ahead and dip your wig in there. Um, don't be scared, okay? Please don't be scared. Like I said, you have to color every strand. But condition the wig, wash it out in some cool water. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and get ready to style the unit. Okay, so now I'm going to hot comb my wig straight back. That's how I like to start off my styling. I took my wax stick um, and my hot comb and hot comb the hairline straight back just so I can see um, the plucking that I did prior to um, like doing this part as well. I did pluck it off camera and I bleached the knots off camera as well. The only reason why I like thought I needed to bleach the knots was because I dyed the top of the wig black. So I just didn't want any black dots showing. So I just went ahead and like bleached the knots, but I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and flatten our wig. Um, we don't want a helmet wig. So we're gonna use that wax stick and flat flatten the wig um, and comb it. Um, one thing I will say is try to get that wig as flat as possible take your time and like actually let the hot comb sit just so the wig can be super duper flat um and it just looks good but i decided to blow dry the wig this time sometimes well most of the time i actually like to like let my wigs just naturally dry like air dry but with this i wanted to have like that blow out like kind of poofy look just so the bob could like have like some like a good like swing action y'all get what i'm saying i hope so anywho so i went ahead and flat ironed the wig trimmed it and just like cut it into a bob um if i end up installing this on somebody else i'll probably cut it a little shorter but I like the look, like I said, um, I definitely wanted more black to be covered in the back, but I still liked it. Um, comment your thoughts below on what you think about this look and like what you add. But that's pretty much it, y'all. I wanted this tutorial to be short and sweet. Thanks for watching and definitely follow me on Instagram and give this videos a thumbs up too. All right, bye.